welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tina Cut. Yeah, I already know what's going on. Back at it again with another video. And today will be a cook with me, cook with tea. Go ahead and see what I'm whipping up. But yeah, on today's menu, I will be cooking enchiladas. Um, I'm gonna try something a little different with that, but we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. <laughs> So the ingredients you will be needing is, of course, your beef, tortillas. They did not have the tortillas that I usually use, but that's okay. Of course, sour cream, your cheese. I normally don't use mozzarella or taco brand cheese, so we're going to see how that goes. Cilantro and your onion dishes. I have the Mexican rice and also refried beans and i will show y'all the salad whenever i make it but let's get into it now with the cilantro i'm gonna use the fork this is probably the easiest way for me if y'all know an easier way let me know. All right, now we're gonna snap the meat in the skillet. I'll let that brown for a little bit before adding my veggies. I can't make enchiladas without enchilada sauce. You did. While well, my meat browned in, I already cut on the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the pot up with water and get this rice going. green onions and yes I did rinse it off top with don't play with me <laughs> if y'all ever notice on the back of y'all taco seasoning package it tells y'all to add some water to it after adding the seasoning do y'all do that I'm asking for myself so y'all just gonna go ahead and drain this meat. Strainer. Should have been cut my flash on. So yeah, after I drain it, I like to add a little bit more taco seasoning. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of enchilada sauce. Now let's get ready to put it on a pan. I just put the rice in the water with some butter. Bring that to a bowl and then after that, y'all know what it says on the package. I don't gotta explain it. All right, y'all. Get your tortillas. They're already breaking up. That's why I like my other tortillas. Let's line the pan with enchilada sauce. My rice is getting to a bowl over there. So I'm going to put it on low and let it simmer. Now we're going to line our pan with the tortillas. <laughs> the tortillas and then we're gonna put more enchilada sauce. Now I'm gonna add my meat. <coughs> then after that layer y'all we're gonna add some sauce. I hate pouring this. <coughs> mozzarella just to give it some pull. Taco blend. I'm 
Then we're gonna top it with more tortillas. So you just repeat this process until you run out of meat. There you have it. I'm gonna throw it in the oven and cook for maybe 15, 20 minutes, just until the enchilada sauce starts to bubble and cheese is looking good and melted. And yeah. Okay, y'all, so these are the ingredients to my Mexican salad. I got the pre made lettuce because you grow. Did not feel like chopping the lettuce and then it had carrots in it so stay tuned this bowl pick through my lettuce i don't know about y'all all right y'all now i'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients in here this is what they look like right now I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of ranch and I'll be back. And this just, I only added a little, little ranch for this to see. And then after the fact, I'll add more. And for my seasoning, y'all, what I put in here was a little chili powder and salt and pepper. That's it. This is what it looks like, y'all. I wish I had my lime juice, but I don't because it definitely would have made it pop. But hey, it's still good. So look, my stepdad just ate, but here is the dish. Enchilada casserole. I'll show you my plate when I make it. Here is my plate. Got my rice. My Mexican salad, my enchilada with sour cream, and my chips on the side, and then my refried beans. <laughs> 